Uh, can you wait a second? Sure, well, I, I can. Mark, you have a very precise memory of things. Uh, what do you remember of 2010, Bobby? I won. Uh, actually, I'd been ill that day. We'd suffered through the Pyrenees and I'd, I'd had a fever. I couldn't eat the day before. I didn't even know if I'd start. And uh, I suffered, through, suffered, suffered, suffered. I didn't feel great. Um, but it'd been a difficult tour, actually. And uh, like for everyone. So everyone was a bit uh, tired. <laughs> and uh, yeah, actually, there was a lot less sprint trains then. You know, we were able to take off. Up, I'd lost Mark Venture early on in the, in the tour. And uh, yeah, the boys just did a good job of getting me into the last case and just about following the wheel. Um, Sabello so had a good lead out there when it was just about then. Attacky jumped early, so I jumped on his wheel and then went straight past him and then uh, won by a fair distance actually. So it was a nice memory. So basically, the situation is very similar to today after the Pyrenees. You started in the Pyrenees, you have an opportunity in Bordeaux. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> it's earlier on in the race now, but uh, I've got good memories that we'll definitely try. So. Six, fifth of the previous sprints. What can we hope for today? I don't know. I think it'd be a relatively quiet day on television for people, but with a beautiful, beautiful sprint in one of the historical sprint towns. You know, all the big sprinters include have won there, including yeah. I think the the last British sprinter before me, Barry Holden. So uh, it'd be good to to try and win there again. Plus the family's here. That's a yeah. special motivation. Yeah, they really, really is. Um, they come to the start and they drive and finish. They came and saw me in Poe last night, actually, which is really nice. On mass, loads of <laughs> loads of kids. It's lovely. It's great for the morale. Are they here?